Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is December and this is Horn and Heart. Today I wanted to talk about the, this time of year. I saw a post by Havamal Mama talking about in bulk and this focus on the start of spring and I wanted to talk about this from the perspective of somebody who is heathen so not necessarily following the Celtic will of the year but um, we have the holy days of Groundhog Day or Groundhogstag in Urglaub and also the Charming of the Plow coming up. And I don't know, depending on when this video is edited and posted, if my post on what we're doing as a family for Charming of the Plow will be up or not. We'll see. Um, if it isn't posted yet, it will be shortly, and I'll link it below when it is. But the idea that February 2nd is a spring holiday or holy day within paganism, I believe, is a little off. And especially if you look at it from a earth centered perspective in the northern hemisphere in regions from where it originated in the British Isles and in the Gaulish countries and the Norwegian countries all the way down to even where I live in southern United States where you know we're we're still in winter. I've had a lot of people even comment on how they will not be doing anything for in bulk because they have several feet of snow outside. So they are hardly going to be going outside to celebrate the coming of spring. But that's not what this time of year is about. When we look at things, that from a earth-centered, from an agrarian or homesteading perspective, in bulk is still very much a winter holiday. Groundhog's Day, Charming of the Plow, these are all still winter hol holy days. And it's because this is the time of planning and dreaming. I apologize for the noise my phone is making. It's the time when we are still cozied up in winter, but when it, it's still dark out, even though the days are growing in lightness, even though there is more sunlight and the promise of warmth ahead we're still in the dark of winter uh, Raven Caldera's book Pagan Homesteading talks about Yule the, the winter the first winter holiday as a sort of bucking up we have a feast day with lots of celebrating and visiting and lights and gifts and all these things to buck us up because ahead of us we have the long dark winter. Imbolc or Groundhog's Day or Charming of the Plow is another form of bucking up. It's another holiday of lights if it's Imbolc because you light the candles, um, especially if you are a devotee of Briid, you might light a hearth or candles or things for her. And it's to remind us, even though we are in 
the thick of it. That light is coming. Warmth is coming. Now, if you are a homesteader or farmer and living in an agrarian lifestyle, that also means the work is coming. So that's where we get this concept of it being a spring holiday, because it is a holiday of planning. That is why we do the charming of the plow in the winter, because we are preparing. There won't be time to prepare once the plants and the animals start arriving. It's, you know, you get up and go. So, February and Charming of the Plow for my husband and I as homesteaders is a planning holy day. It's also a time that we kind of shake ourselves off and get the blood flowing and remind ourselves of the work ahead after we've been in a sort of hibernation. This might be very strange for some pagans and polytheists who are not living with the seasons. Because you know, you go, if you go to the store for all of your food or don't have seasonal work that has to do with the actual earth-based seasons, then you might not feel this need to prepare yourselves for that work ahead, um, but if you, if you do garden, if you do raise your own food, then you probably are really feeling it. It can be very exciting and wonderful. You get for me, I like to get all my seed packets out or all my seed catalogs out and just plot the garden ahead. Um, I'm very excited about that. Um, my, my husband is plotting our next animal purchase and he's very excited about that. And part of that planning, part of the laying the foundation for that is the charming of the plow for us. We get all of our garden tools out, make sure they're sharp, make sure they're mended and tended to and oiled and all of those things, and we bless them. We also create our scarecrow or a butsaman, which is a, um, a spirit imbued uh, familiar of sorts that we will then walk around our property to show him this is your territory protected and then we'll put him up and he will protect our territory until um or Sawen. then we will burn him and release that spirit to go on the wild hunt with Odin and Frahula and that's why it's a spring holiday, is it's preparation for spring, but it's still very much the heart of winter, the heart of that quiet phase of dreaming. We're dreaming the months ahead when there's going to be work to be done. We're dreaming of those fresh greens. We're dreaming of that fall harvest. I'm not very good at the dreaming stage. I think many of us struggle with the dreaming stage because we want to be doing. Our society very much pushes that go, go, go mentality, but that's also why so many of us, myself included, experience burnout, either emotionally and mentally, or our bodies just give out. I have a lot of things that I'm also in the dreaming state of for this channel, for the Horn and Hearth blog, um, and I, I can't wait to put those out, but they all come in their own time. And if I were to go, go, go and put them out now, it would be before their season before they ripened, before that seed has germinated. And I know that that 
harvests that yield from these these things I want to create and these services I want to provide would not um, sustain the work. So we are in the dreaming stage, that womb stage, that seed stage. Um, I really like the song Blossom by Curly. And it's all about a seed covered in snow, but it will come up, it will blossom. And I, I love that metaphor, I love that mentality, and I want to encourage, if you're watching this, and if this strikes a chord within you, look into slow living, to seasonal living to what can you do right now to nourish yourself as a seed and what can you do to really feel into this dream state of planning and how winter is affecting you at the moment remembering that there is light and warmth and work in the months ahead. So I think that might perhaps clarify the concept of why February 2nd in this heart of winter is so many so many people talking about spring. So let me know what your plans are if you have any for February and if you are celebrating the Charming of the Plow or Groundhog's Day or Invoke. Thank you for watching. Be blessed.